Deacon Mitchell believes sustainable employment within the public service must be the way to go as it allows citizens to grow economically, which is also in the nation's collective interest. Contract work, according to NDC's political leader, does not facilitate real growth in the economy. So even if it means biting the bullet initially to regularize the status of our contract workers, that must be done. Mitchell says quantifying the cost to regularize contract workers is the first step to be taken, followed by methods to fund it. The National Transformation Fund could be one such area of, of doing so. Or in a given fiscal period, whether it's one, two or three years, we can say to these contract workers, we can't pay you all of the benefits immediately, but the plan is we will gradually pay you this over a three or five year period. Giving public workers security will ensure more productivity, and NDC's leader says this will be pivotal in turning the economy around, increasing the ease of doing business, and drastically improving the type of services offered. So as much as we have debt, this very government has demonstrated that with high taxes and with self-imposed structural adjustment programs that we can pay down our debt. If you pay down your debt, you don't pay down your debt just to go and borrow more money again and put yourself right back in the same position. If you do borrow, you should be borrowing to fix structural issues like what I've talked about with the contract workers or to invest in sectors of the economy that will grow the economy. However, Prime Minister Dr. Kit Mitchell believes otherwise. So there's no question of when a public service gets 4% that I must get it too. So if you draw in, if you, if you draw in fifteen thousand dollars a month, or fourteen or ten thousand, and because the public servant would draw in fifteen hundred, get four percent, you must get it too. You negotiated a contract. Deacon Mitchell, on the other hand, is advocating for the development of the productive sectors, which brings financial benefits for workers and society in general, in terms of better wages and salaries. So you can't have a situation where you're impoverishing your own workers. If you pay your workers less then it means they have less money to spend. And if they have less money to spend, it means they have less money to buy anything else and the other businesses themselves will contract and not grow. So it's in our, it's in our collective interest to always want to pay workers more. It has to be sustainable, I accept that. NDC's political leader says the excuses of no fiscal space make no sense and does not benefit the country economically. If as a government you are creating this level of instability in the workforce and in the labor market, you are setting the standard. You are telling the private sector as well it is okay to put everybody on contract. While admitting to unfairness for some contract public workers, Dr. Mitchell notes that there are three categories of contracts. So, the Department of Public Administration is mandated and is coming up, developing a comprehensive framework in this regard. And this is leader still questions why government continues to hire contract workers if the public service is too large or the fiscal space is a hindrance. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.